thought that I'd bring you all along to check out one of the first renovations I'm going to do this year. Uh, as you can see, I've got this uh, brick home behind me. It's a three bedroom, two bathroom home. It's right around 1,500 square feet. Uh, we're in kind of a southwest part of Memphis. Uh, some might call it Whitehaven, some might call it Westwood, but uh, if you kind of look around here, you'll see that uh, the neighborhood is actually uh, really nice. The houses, a lot of the houses are uh, kept up very nice. This particular house that I'm going to be renovating here actually sits on a large corner lot. Uh, it does have covered carport parking. It's got a fenced in backyard. So uh, from a rental standpoint, it's going to have uh, very good visibility. Uh, we estimate that this house is going to rent anywhere in the 850 to 895 range. So uh, I haven't actually decided if I want to keep this house or sell it uh, just because of how good the numbers are. So uh, I figured that I'll take you inside so you can kind of see and I'll give you a tour of what we're going to do. On the outside here, obviously you can see there's a lot of trash, there's a lot of garbage that was left here. We're going to get a dumpster and we're going to clean the whole place out. We're going to throw everything away. Uh, obviously whoever left, whoever was living here before left a lot of trash for me. So we're going to get that cleaned out. We're going to paint the exterior uh, siding part of the home. We're going to paint that, the standard colors that we normally do. I believe it's a kind of a grayish color. Put some new security doors on the front. We're going to pressure wash the brick. Uh, it's going to give the outside a really good new look. It's really going to transform it. So kind of let's go inside. You'd think that with all the junk they left me, I could do my own little rummage sale here or have a little uh, yard sale, but uh, unfortunately, all this stuff was left by the previous tenant, so we are going to put it right in the trash. Alright, you're going to have to watch your step here. Coming inside, as you can see, uh, they really did leave a lot of stuff here for me. I mean, dirty dishes in the sink and just everything. So, we're going to be doing a full interior paint on this home. We're going to do new kitchen countertops. We're going to paint the cabinets. We're going to repair the ones as needed. Uh, we've got this old linoleum style floor in here. We're going to redo all the flooring in the house. We're going to come back in with vinyl planks that look like distressed hardwood floor. Uh, new light fixtures. <laughs> I mean, boy, you name it. We have a little bit of everything in here. Uh, they obviously did not try to clean anything before they left. And unfortunately, the house has been sitting like this for a long time. So uh, we actually kind of have a... I don't know if you want to call this like a dining room area here or another separate little living room it could be, but I uh, have these double doors that go out to a covered patio. We'll look at that here a little bit later, but as you can see, uh, looks like somebody tried to get in and they might have gotten in, but just a lot of junk here. Um, got this paneling here. We're going to paint that, new light fixtures, paint the ceiling. Um, if the flooring is in good condition, I can't tell just yet, but this might be able to be saved. Uh, let's see here. Making our way into, this is actually the main living room. And uh, <laughs> got this couch with no cushions, just tons and tons of junk. Now this is obviously old carpet here, which is gonna get ripped out. We're gonna uh, extend that vinyl plank uh, from the kitchen into this room. We actually have the first bedroom here, but like I said, we've got a lot of damaged sheetrock and uh, you know, not really sure if you can get a, if you can see this or not, but uh, I'm hoping that somebody was just maybe diabetic. <laughs> uh, we're gonna kind of come down the hallway here. You know, we're gonna be entering into the area where the bedrooms and bathrooms are now. So uh, here is the hallway bathroom, and you know, I want you to come in here so you can kind of kind of take a look at this. It's, it's a tight uh, it's a tight space in here, believe it. But you know, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna do some work to the floors new vanity, uh, you know, we're gonna do some work here. Most likely we're gonna get rid of this tub because this one is pink, so we're gonna get a white tub in here. Probably do a new tile surround. Uh, we're really gonna transform this bathroom. We're gonna uh, modernize it. It's gonna look a whole lot different uh, when you see it when we're finished. So this is the hallway bathroom. Uh, you know, I guess you could say we have bedroom number two here. Uh, this is actually a, a fairly decent room. Oh, what am I stepping on there? Some more glass. Uh, you know, again, paint. Now in the bedrooms, uh, assuming that there is not hardwood floors under this carpet, uh, we will come back in with brand new carpet in the bedroom area. And uh, then we make our way around here. This is just another 
door that enters into that first bedroom. So you could actually access the bedroom from the living room or from the hallway right here. And this is considered the master bedroom here um, because it's got the master bathroom on suite right over here. You know, and we're gonna do the same thing in here. Now this bathroom obviously has a case of mold in here. Severe case of mold. I should, probably shouldn't be breathing it, but uh, you know, we're gonna completely redo all this. Flooring, vanity, tile. It's gonna be completely different. So actually we're gonna go into the backyard now and uh, see what we're gonna do in the back. So if you come this way, uh, we're actually outside right now. We've got kind of like this uh, covered patio area here that looks moderately homemade. I'm not really sure what's going on here, but part of the renovation is we're actually gonna take this out. We're gonna open it up. So there will not be a covered patio, but it's gonna be completely cleaned out. We're gonna replace obviously all this broken window. Uh, I think we're coming in with actually French doors over here. We're gonna do some French doors over here on the side, uh, clean this whole area out, actually make it a, a really nice uh, patio area. Open the, It'll open this up here. Because um, as of right now, this is just not functioning. It's not working for us. So coming to the backyard here. And you know, you look around the backyard here, there's just a lot of, there's just a lot of junk. And it's obviously been here for a long time. You know, maybe we can go turn those cans in and get about 25 cents, I don't know. You know, there's some si there's some exterior siding that's gonna need to be replaced, as you can tell over there. We gotta do a new door. We gotta trim that in a whole lot better. Um, you know, there's a lot of other things that we need to look at too on this house, uh, HVAC. Actually, the hot water tank, oddly enough, is brand new here. So uh, we've projected with my contractor that the renovation is gonna cost somewhere around 19 to $20,000 on this home. Once that renovation's complete, the house is gonna look fantastic. And that's why I'm bringing everybody along so that you can see what this house is gonna look like. You see how bad it looks. Uh, you know, the goal is, is once it's done, it's gonna be really nice on the inside. It's gonna be moving ready. Management company's gonna find a fantastic tenant. Uh, you know, we've been buying, selling, renovating homes in Memphis. I have been now for about the last 11 years or so. Uh, I've sold a lot. I own my own personal portfolio uh, for the average person who may be watching this for the first time, if you're new, this might be scary. You might think, how are we gonna turn this house around? But that's why I'm bringing you along so you can see what we're gonna do. So stay tuned to the next episode. Hey everybody, it's Kurt Davis here. Uh, wanted to bring you back. Uh, this is, I guess you could say, the part two of this video series for this particular renovation project. Uh, as you can see, uh, we have guys that are starting to paint the exterior of the home. Uh, we've got a completely full dumpster over there. There was a ton of garbage in this property, uh, but I think that once we get inside, you're gonna see a huge uh, transformation already from what it looked like before and where we're at now. We're probably about 50% done with this particular project, but uh, the guys have been doing a fantastic job. So, uh, like I said, I wanted you to be able to just kind of see where we're at. You can kind of see they're starting the trim work here. Uh, Let's go inside and check it out. So, as you can see, uh, we are in the main living room. Uh, when we were in here last time, it was completely dark. Uh, you know, there's just a lot more natural light that's coming in right now. Uh, you know, flooring is gonna be one of the last things we do in this project, just because uh, there's just all the contractor work that's going on here, but uh, this is the main living area here. Uh, one thing I wanted to bring you into the kitchen. I know it's a little, and it's a little dark. We're actually getting the utilities turned on tomorrow, but uh, they've got the cabinets all prepped, uh, primered, and everything like that. We're going to be putting on the new kitchen countertops. They do have to do a little uh, subfloor repair here in the kitchen, as you can see. Uh, not a big deal. This is kind of a. This little room over here, this is kind of a, you could call it like another living room. You could use it as a formal dining room, another sitting room and whatnot, but the hardwood floors are actually in really good condition. We weren't sure last time because there was so much trash in here. We didn't know what we're gonna have to do to the floors, but uh, we're gonna be installing the new uh, French exterior doors here coming soon that'll lead out to the patio. I'm excited to show you that uh, when we get out, but let's go check out the bathrooms. And 
you know, one thing I wanted you to notice is we've got, we've got hardwood floors here. Uh, one of the reasons why we're not refinishing the hardwood floors in this house, and we're going we're gonna to do a different kind of flooring in here, which you'll see uh, soon enough, but there's just a lot of uh, wood that's been replaced here. It's it had a lot of replacement. It's not in the greatest condition, but it's still strong. But we're going to come back in with some excellent flooring that you'll see. But come check out the bathroom. So they're kind of they're kind of they're they're prepping in the bathroom right now. We still got to get this uh, incredible pink tub out of here. Uh, they, they've started putting in uh, sheetrock around here, the old vanities and everything that have been taken out. So uh, they still obviously have to do the tile flooring, tile surround. Got to do a little plumbing in here. But you know that's where we're at with the hallway bathroom. Uh, you know, here we've got some, you know, it's a bedroom, nothing super exciting. Another bedroom. Coming into, this would be considered the master suite. Uh, we have a similar situation in this bathroom. You know, we've got the prep going on right here. Uh, still got to get the flooring out, vanity, light, new toilet, everything like that coming soon. So, um... I'm actually excited to take you guys into the backyard so you can see the patio, uh, but let's go check that out. Before, when we were here last time, before we even started the renovations on this house, where I'm standing was uh, some sort of homemade enclosed structure here. There was a door that came in. There were couches, love seats, refrigerators, just tons of garbage. Uh, we completely tore that down because it looked absolutely terrible. And now we've made this a, a more functional, we're going to make it a more functional patio. It just really opens up. It helps really bring in the natural light because that's a, that's a front bedroom right there that got no natural light, no natural light back in the living room. This is a huge transformation. And you can actually see uh, this part of the house here. We've got, they're actually starting the exterior paint on the property. And this is kind of the color scheme that we like to use it's uh it's you know it's a popular color it looks good uh but you know they're probably about 25 percent done with the painting on the outside of the house as you saw they were starting in the front they've got a little bit done here in the back so uh we are probably close to being about 50 percent done with this particular project uh we won't have you guys come back until uh, home is completed which will probably be about another two weeks or so according to our contractor but I'm excited to show you what the final product's gonna look like because I already see it in my head what it, what it will look like and uh, I believe you're gonna be pleasantly surprised. So uh, till the third episode of this project, we'll see you soon. Hey everybody, so here we are. We're at the final stages of this project here down in the Whitehaven area in Memphis, Tennessee. Uh, this project took roughly a little over a month, call it 30 days or so, to get completed. Uh, we just finished the landscaping on the outside. As you can see, the exterior is painted, uh, but what's really exciting is how nice it turned out on the inside. So as you recall, uh, this house was trash. This house was left completely disgusting, full of garbage, highly unrenovated. Let's go inside and I want you to see what we've done. So right in here in the main living area, as you can see, we did put down the all new vinyl plank uh, floor and this is kind of a standard for what I like to do. Uh, it has that distressed wood appearance, which is really popular. Uh, it's, it's, it's great for rental properties and it just looks incredible. Um, got the mini blinds up, light fixtures. Uh, we're gonna go into the kitchen area first. As you can see, we did extend the vinyl plank from the main living area into the kitchen area here. We got the brand new vent hood installed, new kitchen countertops, we've painted the cabinets, new sink, new spray handle. Uh, what else have we done here? New laundry box, I know that's not exciting, but uh, it's brand new. Over here in this particular area, this is really kind of a multi-use area. They could use it as a formal dining room if they, if they choose. Uh, it could be another bonus living area, but Right here, this is a, a nice feature. We put in brand new French double doors here. As you recall, uh, there were a old set of French doors here. The glass is all broken. The security bars out there were, were looking very rough, but uh, this just adds so much character to this room and plus when you're on the outside. But before we go outside, let's go check the bedrooms and bathrooms area. So right in here, the main hall bath. Finally got this finished out. As you can see, we do have the new tile 
Everything in here is new. Mirror light, vanity, toilet, tile, brand new tub, new tile surround, faucets, handles. Everything in here is brand new. Completely went through. Uh, let's check out some of the, the bedrooms here. Bedrooms are obviously not exciting, but this is just what a standard uh, renovated bedroom looks like. You got a new light fixture. This is our paint, carpet. This home is a three bedroom, two bathroom home. The master bedroom with the master suite. Similar scenario in here. Uh, we did not do a brand new tub in this one because this tub was white, unlike the other bathroom, had a pink tub in it, I believe. Uh, everything else is brand new in this bathroom, but let's go out in the back and check it out. So as you recall in the very first video, this back patio was enclosed. Somebody did a very poor job of enclosing it, but since then we have removed it. We have redone the soffit and fascia trim here. Like I said before, the brand new French doors. This is actually an actual living area that can be used now. Uh, and you can actually get natural light back here. So uh, we've actually turned this into a functional space, which I think will be a positive for whoever chooses to move in. But, uh, you know, we still have just a little bit of cleanup here to do. But other than that, we had the old jungle gym taken out. It's actually got a really good sized backyard. Plus this house being on a large corner lot. So uh, the investor uh, who has this property should do fairly well. Uh, great location, great neighborhood, uh, newly renovated home. So I hope you've enjoyed this particular uh, renovation video and we'll have more to come.